What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Career Mode with uh, Dougie Decker and me, James. We are rocking up to Assen this weekend. Uh, we've got Assen and then we've got the Kimi Ring. Um, Assen, love Assen, quality track. So hopefully we'll do all right right now. Kimi Ring is uh, still quite new, isn't it? So I don't know it that well, but um, we'll see what we can do on the Moto2 bike, but hopefully it'll be all right. But yeah, we, um, we had a few frame upgrades, engine upgrades last time out. The electronics are still working. Uh, the electronics ain't going to be done before the end of the season, probably. It says six weeks, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we've not had any offers from any teams yet, which is a bit sad, but um, I guess we'll just keep going, see how we get on, and uh, let's get into Assen. Here we get in. FP3 is done with in Assen. We are uh, second place, just behind Fernandez by 0.133, so it's not bad at all, not bad at all. I like this track. I really like this track, so hopefully we'll do all right. Um, I've got a funny feeling. It said it was wet, though, so... Combined results, we should be still in second place. There we go. Nicely done. Go straight through to Q2. So, let's see what the weather brings. All right, yeah. So, we're in Q2. And as I said, it's uh, it's bloody raining in the race, which is so, so annoying. I love this track, but it's going to rain. So, we're going to struggle probably. But um, Q2 is dry. So, I'll have to do a bit of wet warm up as well. But um, let's get out into Q2 in a second. Let's quickly just blast through some time. Get some people putting times in, see what we uh, need to aim for. I'm gonna go, I was gonna say I'm gonna go mediums in a race, but I'm not, I'm going medium wets. So it doesn't actually matter what tires I use now, does it? Let's go with, uh, let's go to mediums. I like the mediums in practice, they felt good. So we'll stick with the mediums even for quality. If we get time, maybe come back in and put some softs, but I don't think they're gonna work. So let's get out on a track. See what we need to do, what's going to put in? A 141.4, I reckon there's more time than that in a track, but we'll wait and see. Right, let's get stopped for this chicane. This is such a wicked track. Aston is so awesome. I love it. All right, we're in primo three. Anti wheelies on four. End of brakes on four. We'll leave all that as it is for now. How to do? Get stopped down into turn one. Oh, a little bit, a little bit slow. If anything, into turn one. Nice and tidy though. At least that's that's a good one. Good thing. I I love this track so much. I'm gutted it's going to rain in the race. That's so annoying. You can't change the weather in crew mode either. Not that, you know, I shouldn't be, because that's kind of cheating, isn't it? But that's so lame. Oh, I'd love it to be dry right here for the race. I reckon we get another win on our hands. But um, you never know, we might do all right in the wet. We might do all right in the wet. Right, we're point, uh, well, we're not a lot under going this time in the first sector, but we're under it, which is good. Full blast through that little corner there. Get it stopped into turn seven. I'm not going to attempt to read out any of the names of the corners. Ooh, little wobbly into turn eight. Good though, good though, we're keeping the speed for them all, which is good. Get on the brakes. Oh, that back end's kicking out again. I'm loving this new uh, new way of riding. We've, uh, I said just now, we've not had any uh, offers from Moto2 teams, which uh, from Moto GP teams, which is a bit sad. So I'm hoping <laughs> if we start putting in some good performances, we might start getting some. I don't really want to be stuck down here in Moto2 for another year, to be honest. Especially, you know, just for video's sake as well. It's not as fun watching the same uh, class for two uh, seasons straight. Hopefully, at the very least, we'll be able to start our own team in the MotoGP class. I think that's easier than getting a, a ride. I don't really want to do that. I want to get on a factory ride, but uh, we'll wait and see. Oh my days, 1.7 on the guy this time. That's horrendous. Wow, we are only like... We weren't even up in the first sector. Where did we make up all that time? God knows. Right, well, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave, I think we'll leave it there. And uh, let's see how that session ends up. Ends up. Here we go. We've got pole position. That was pretty... I mean, we're way ahead for some reason. So, um, let's see how we get on in the wet race then. I'll go jump into wet pr uh, wet warm-up. Get a little practice, and then we'll get into the race. Here we go then. Race time in Assen in the bloody rain. I told you it's going to rain. I hate the rain. I live in England, but I don't like the rain. It's not true that English people like the rain, it's rubbish. <sighs> so, we're, um, are we pole? I've completely forgot. I, I did a warm-up in the, in the in the wet and I'm all confused. But uh, we were back, yeah, we're on pole, there we are. We were 12th in warm-up, so we've got no pace at all in the rain. So, um, I'm not looking forward to this, if I'm honest. We'll see how we get on, but uh, let's get straight into it, I suppose. Medium wets, obviously, no other choice. Who's on the front row of us? Remy Gardner, oh, Sam Lewis, the big boys, Digi, Fernandez, and Fernandez. So, oh, the top, look at that, that was in, uh, in sync. Three top three teams all in sync there. That was quite cool. It's gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. I'm so annoyed. I love this track. I really want to race around here properly. Uh, not the best start. I find it's primary three. Oh, actually. All right, we've got an amazing start apparently, compared to everybody else at least. 
Oh, we're gonna go a bit wide into turn one now. Yeah, we're going very wide. All right, it's fine. We'll take a bit of green. It's turn one, isn't it? First lap, they won't. Stewards won't mind that. They usually let people off with all sorts of uh, stuff in turn one. Admittedly, we were out on our own, so we probably didn't need to go wide. But what was that start? What, what happened to everybody else? Because I bumped it into power mode three. Ah, we're out on the paint again. All right, well, there's that awesome start wrecked. Ladies and guard there. We uh, did get a cracking drive out there because we were so far uh, off the track. Where are we tip it in? Uh, right there. Oh, God, that's sketchy in the rain. That is sketchy in the rain on a game, let alone in real life. That's terrifying. Probably won't be going this fast in, uh, in the rain, to be fair. I'm actually filming this on... Uh, Hang on, two seconds, let me, let me concentrate into this corner. Oh god, we're wobbling all over the place, wobbling all over the place. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say, I've completely forgotten now, don't worry. Um, no, get off the curb, get off the curb. Dude, I'm surprised we are, we have a lead, I'm surprised we're in the lead, I'm surprised we're not just completely falling through the pack to the back end. Unless, unless in warm up, someone put... Maybe it was dry at the beginning of the warm-up and someone put a, a lap in straight away. I don't think it was dry. I was like 1.5 seconds off the pace in warm-up though. I think Fernandez had the quickest time in uh, the wet warm-up. But um, I'm, I'm not complaining. I do like this track. So if there was a track that was going to be alright in the wet, uh, but we ain't got that much of a gap to be fair. That was a good lap though. Good lap. Oh, I get it stopped into turn one, James. Get it stopped into turn one. That was much better than the first lap. Easy mode two bikes are insane, man. No traction control is just crazy in this weather. It's a lovely rain blob on my uh, screen there, right on the apex of that corner, so I couldn't really see where I, what I wanted. Oh, I'm taking that too tight into the entry and then going very wide. Rear wheel spinning up a treat, but I'll tell you what, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. I am well surprised at this pace. Don't know where this has come from. Well, we had it in clearly in the dry. In the dry, we were a sure inch foot in for the wind, definitely. Like, there was no one anywhere near us. Oh, that back end stepping out again. Gotta be careful with that, man. I'm loving I'm loving sliding the back end, but uh, gotta be careful, especially in these, uh, these wet conditions. We've got a gap. It's not a massive gap. It's a nice little cushion, though, but... Any little mistakes or any little slides like that? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, I'm so tense. I'm riding so tense, like in, I'm sat here in my chair. Controller gripped as hard as possible. Come on, Dougie. We are on a proper championship fight back right here. We are doing what we need to do, basically. We had a shocking start to the season. I'm not messing with the difficult or anything, I know I was talking about it, I've left it as it is. I think it's on, I said, I said I thought it was on 90, it's actually on 80. So, I don't know what you guys are running out there, you'll probably laugh at that and be like, 80? We got it on like 125 or whatever the highest percentage is, you can have it, it's like super duper hard. But yeah, it's on 80, or was it 85? I honestly can't remember, I'll, have to, I'll double check it again, if anyone's interested, if no one cares then, whatever. But um. Yeah, I haven't changed it, honest. We've won quite a lot of races the past uh, couple of rounds, but I've not touched it. Oh, the front nearly went there, and that was horrible. Is that, yeah, they're all back on us again. Come on, let's not make any mistakes. We can get a nice win here. Whoa, dude. We nearly lost that end. I've seen that. That happens a lot in there, and that just came in the wet. I think World Superbikes, ladies before did that in World Superbikes last year or year before, whenever it was, they last raid there. Oh, we could be going wide in turn one again. No, we're right, we brought it down just enough. Right, we're, uh, we're losing pace here. Or the AI are uh, catching up, one of the two, not sure. Completely forgot we've been in power mode two for this entire race so far, so... Probably... Bang it up into power mode three on this uh, back straight here, actually. We can get away from some of these boys because they are right behind us again. Yeah, it definitely uh, closed that gap a lot. We were pretty slow. Oh, we weren't that slow. We we're not that down on our own time. 
they must be up in their uh, up in their pace a bit. We've got away from them on that straight again with a bit of primary three, which is nice to see. I will drop it back down again in a minute and save it for the uh, for the straights probably. There we go. Should probably do that more often. I usually end up just doing the whole lap in primary three at the start of the race and then sometimes saving enough fuel to use one at the end of the race, but maybe I should just bang it in uh, primary three for the straights. That's when we want the power already in it. Especially in the wet. Don't want any extra power in these corners, definitely. Back end's already all over the place. Oh, cut a bit tight there, but we still made it through. Pretty much full throttle. Lifted off a little bit, rolled out a little bit. Keep saying lifted off, we're not driving the car. Nice gap again, actually, that's decent. We're actually doing a good lap here. We're up on our own time by a fair bit. Oh, that chicane's getting, that is getting dodgy. That first, uh, first right on the chicane there. Nice gap behind us. Sorry, a bit of a boring race for everybody to watch, but uh, I wasn't expecting this at all. I was, you know, in the dry maybe, but not in the uh, not in the rain. I thought this was going to be a tough one, to be honest. I thought this was going to be a really tough one. This is our, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm, uh, it's probably the best I've ridden or played the game in a while. I'm definitely trying. But um, yeah, I was not expecting to have the pace like this compared to the AI. I thought we'd be at least battling with people, not a... Uh, out front getting away. We're not really getting away. We're uh, we're way down on this lap. We're 0.9 off of our last lap. What? We're over a second off our last lap now, but no one's really catching us. So I don't know if everyone's tires are going off or everyone was using power mode 3 just now. That's why they all caught us up all of a sudden. But who knows? But we're doing alright and we're going to be going to that last lap any second. Make it around these final corners. Get ready for the chicane. I'm breaking a bit too early now. Getting all confused with my breaking points. Still got one and a half seconds to the. Who's behind us? Lowe's and Gardner. Bit of power three. Getting stopped into turn one again. I'm getting that down right. I'm getting turn one down right now. Oh, as he says that, he goes a bit wide. I'm leaving power mode three for a bit. I'll probably just use it, use it all the way up until the, uh, the hairpin and the straight. Oh. We're gonna be going wide. Don't get on the curbs. That's fine. That's fine. You can keep it like that. Back end stepping out. As soon as that back end steps out, you gotta be careful. You don't lose the front after. That's what normally happens. Oh, very wide round. Struben. Is that Struben? Lost a lot of time through there. I'm gonna leave it primary three for this straight. In fact, we're gonna leave it primary three for the lap, which might be quite nice. Gained a lot of time back up through there, that's nice. We obviously saved our fuel, whereas I reckon they all used it just now. Gently does it right turn eight. Beautiful. Oh, slipping and sliding into turn nine. Keep cutting this corner too, uh, too tight too early. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually, but. Right, don't lose the rear going right here. This is one of the hardest parts. All you want to do is get on the throttle and you just can't. The back end just steps out on you. Nice. Fair play, lads. We're going to take a win in the rain in Aston. I was not expecting that at all. Definitely not expecting that. It's probably going to be our first rain win, I would imagine. Don't think we won anything in the rain in uh, Moto 3, to be honest. We were awful in the rain, to be honest. I, I don't understand where this has come from, but happy days. Dougie Decker's going to take another win. Gonna put a few points into those and guide there, not too many, they are second and third. There we go. Nicely done, mate. He's pumped. He is pumped. This exciting race of finishing their final there it is, 1.5 seconds ahead. Of these moments to take not a bad look at all, not bad at all. Final ranking. Digi's doing alright for the team as well, he's up in fourth. Uh, Fernandez and Agura ran out of top sixth. Sixth? Six. Championship, I reckon we're third now. Yeah, we've overtaken Bezeki. We are now only 37 points behind Gardner. We're only four points behind those, which is good. That'll get us into second, but yeah, that's what we need. We might not win this championship. We, won't, we obviously won the Moto3 one. We might not win Moto2. Hopefully we can, but we'll uh, have to wait and see. Let's get into the next race at uh, Kimi Ring. Well, before we get into the Kimi Ring, looks like we did get some offers. I was only just saying uh, we want some team offers from people. Let's have a look. So we can do some new teams in... Ah, so we can do some our own team in MotoGP. Low chance though, low chance. We've got a KTM, a Ducati, and a Aprilia. All possibilities, if we have to. Don't really want to. Uh... 
Do we, yeah, we come to our own team mode too. We're not, we're not going to do that. And then factory teams. Here we go. So we got... I'm sure we had these already. And then they disappeared. Maybe it's because our rep went down because we did so bad at the start of the season. Looks like that's all we're going to get though, isn't it? Skyvr46, Ducati. Uh, Vintage Ducati. Same, same team, basically. Uh, what have we got? An Aprilia and an LCR Honda. I don't really want to go on the LCR. So this is a nice looking bike, but really, really want to get on that tech free. That is beautiful, that bike. But still got a bit to go, still got a bit of time to go. So we'll wait and see. Advance week, pay some salaries, start with the riders. Oh, okay, so actually is the market window. Hmm. Let's put negotiation for a prettier. And for VR46. Got a long way to go, reputation, we've only got 10 weeks to do it. So none of them might happen, which would be a shame. Because, yeah. All right, we'll wait and see. Wait and see. We'll leave it like that for now. Right, let's get into a race. Right now, free practice is done with in uh in Finland. In uh, where are we? <laughs> Kimmy Ring. <laughs> Round the Kimmy Ring. Ah, oh, not doing very well. Didn't do very well at all. My results were down in twentieth. So um, yeah, we're going through Q uh, Q one, which is a bit of a shame. It's gonna be a tough tough race. I think it's gonna be wet qualifying, but then hopefully the race is dry. So hopefully that will give us a bit of a bit of a help. But um, let's get into qualifying. So what we can do. We're so getting qualifying time. So it's very wet. It's very very wet. It's very slippery. I did a uh, practice in the wet, obviously. Um, and it was quite hard, <laughs> so we didn't do very well, so I'm not uh, expecting much from this session. It looks like there is a bit of a dry line forming, a little bit. Nah, still well slippery though. I just don't know the track, that's a problem. I just don't know the, uh, the track very well at all, so I had a fair bit of practice, but compared to like places like Assin and uh, Catalonia that I just, you just know off the back, you know, off the top of your head, I know exactly where all the corners are and stuff. I do not know that sort of stuff around the Kimi ring yet, but I reckon we got a bit of pace in the race when it's dry, hopefully. We'll see what we can do in qualifying, so hopefully we'll get through to Q2 at least, so we're at least not uh, in the back of the grid, but we'll wait and see. This bike is flying, mind. There's engine upgrades, frame upgrades, all that sort of stuff. We are killing it along that straight Look, 1.4 seconds under Aldasari's time already. A little bit wide, though, at the end of it. And this is where it starts getting difficult. All these flip flops, I don't know where any of them are, they're all blind corners. You don't see the apex until you've gone past it, basically. To run a bit wide there and then cut back at this one. Go on, mate. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not horrible. We're still second, uh, second underneath. Yeah, I definitely think I'm stronger through the first two sectors. This uh, third sector is not going to plan so far. It's a little bit messy. It's not getting much tidier either. We're still half a second under. I mean, this is Q2, uh, Q1, I suppose. So these are all the slow boys. I mean, we weren't dead last in uh, combined results. To be fair, we did better than the combined results showed. It's just because I only did FP3. Our uh, combined times were rubbish. Which is weird, because FP3 was meant to be drier than FP1. So that's why I skipped FP1. But anyway, cross the line we come. What's that going to do? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Point 0.8 up. All right. To uh, 2 minute point seven. I'm pretty sure that's what the top boys were doing in um, practice. So let's go back to the pits. He has returned to the pit. He has returned to the pits, mate. Speed up time a bit. We ain't got enough time to go back out anyway. So hopefully that is going to keep us at the top of the session. Looks like it is. We're point eight. Oh, oh, I thought I'd move then. All right, nice. We're going through the Q2. Cool. Us, Navarro, Ramirez, and Bobier are going through. So that's not too bad at all. Uh, Buluga is still struggling. Dizzy obviously would have went through to Q, uh, Q2 straight away. So let's get into Q2, we're see what we can do. Still wet by the looks of it. Shall we keep these tyres on? There's no point in there. The race is going to be dry, I think. So I might as well bang some fresh wets in. Cheeky medium wet. It's nicely done. Speed up the time a little bit. Just get some boys putting some laps in. I don't think we're going to be uh, hurting the front runner or something in the wet. But as I said, in the race, hopefully we'll be all right. What are they putting in then? Two... Uh, 2.8, I mean we did 2.9 I think it was, 2 minutes 9, yeah 2, two minutes 9, see what we can do, get on the track, nobody about it, that's nice, although mm, maybe I should be following people around this track just to learn it, but we're doing alright, we're doing alright, we don't need anybody else, we don't need to take a toe, we're not going to be that guy, I always mess up this last corner onto the straight which is not ideal, that was better but there's definitely a dry line now, I think we'll be alright in a dry you know, Probably have to do the warm up to uh, get the braking zones right and all that sort of stuff. But here we go. 
getting the brakes into this weird kind of turn one. Oh. Come on, stay on that nice drive there, mate. Don't get out on the wet if you don't have to. We are flying down this straight line. This bike is so fast, it's ridiculous. We definitely upgraded the engine and stuff at the right time. We are uh, we're 0 0.9 under at the moment. That's a good start to the lap. Like I said just now, we're definitely quicker in sectors one and two, so if we can make as much time up as we can in these two sectors, and then when it all goes away from us in three and four, it's not the end of the world. So we'll have a little bit of time in hand, hopefully. We'll wait and see, though. I want to kick out a little bit wide. Cut back though for the apex, otherwise you're just going wide. And yeah, bit wide, bit wide. Still up. Just about. I'm breaking way too early, but then I, if I don't, I tend to go really wide at this corner and onto the grass. Up the hill we go. Over to the left, I think it is now. I still don't know it, that's the problem. As soon as you see that curve, get on the brakes a bit, tip it into the right. Nice. Break into this one again, let it sweep out a little bit, cut back, that's probably a bit too much. That was alright actually, that was alright, that was nice, that was smooth. Under the bridge we go, get on the brakes again, and we're still under my point eight. We're not gonna hold this to the end are we, surely? Oh, a little bit wide there. This is where it all starts going wrong for me. Right in this one, we're too tight into there. Oh, we're already at the last corner actually, so maybe we might keep this uh, lead. Ooh, slipping and sliding. No, wait, I don't need it. If we, if we get this, damn, point 0.8 under, but time, alright, I'm going to end it there, screw it. I, I, I reckon we got it again, I reckon we got a pole. We bloody did as well, happy days. Ask Bezeki and Fernandez on the uh, front row. Fair enough, fair enough, I wasn't expecting that yet again. I don't know what's happened, maybe I need to bump the difficulty up. Here we are, talking about me bumping it down, maybe I was just rubbish or I just needed some practice on those motor two bikes like, uh, like I said we did. Anyway, let's get into the race. Right then, race time around the Kimi ring, let's go, let's go. I just did the warm up, did alright, we were a bit off the pace, but um, it's just because it's dry and I'm just messing around with braking, braking markers and stuff, so hopefully we'll be alright in the uh, the race itself. We're obviously going off pole anyway, so uh, let's try and get away. But we're going medium, medium, I'm going to risk it with the medium rear tyre, I think it'll be alright. It's pretty cold here, so um, let's get into it and see what we can do. Here we go, me on pole, Bezeki, Fernandez, Dixon, Lowe's and Gardner of the top six. We're, uh, where did you? Oh, down 12th, alright, he's not doing too well. There's a few other people on mediums, there's people on a mixed tyre, so uh, I don't think it really matters what you go with in this game anymore, but uh, all right, let's go for it. Try and get a good start now. Need to get that good start. Shouldn't need to break really into uh, turn one. Oh, that's a terrible start. Oh my days, was that Dixon? Are you joking, mate? What even was that? He just crashed straight into the side of me. Like There was no attempt to even break and he was just going straight on. So in that case, right. Oh, someone behind nearly went there as well. Their foot was off the peg. Who are we stuck in behind? Gardner. Alright. I'm going to give these boys some power mode free. I'm going to uh, tear past all of you lot. See you later, dudes. That's <laughs> so overpowered, that power mode free is ridiculous. Get on the brakes after the straight. Might break a little bit too early there. Oh, we've got Bezeki underneath us through here. Is that Gardner as well? Fernandez, one of them. Fernandez. Alright, we've got battle rounds. That's what we wanted. That's what we want. It's nice when there's a bit of a battle. I'll tell you what, this track is beautiful in the dry, to be fair. I was struggling around it in the wet. Well, I wasn't, apparently, because we got pole somehow. But I was struggling, really. I'm not sure what happened. I think that was a classic qualifying thing with the AI being rubbish and qualifying and better in the race. But um, yeah, this is wicked, this track in the dry. This is awesome. I bet the boys can't wait to get here. I reckon it'd be a decent race as well, to be fair. It's a proper crazy track. Once you get the grip and stuff in the dry, it's nice. Like, oh, we're going wide into turn 13 now, but you can take a bit more liberties in the dry. Like, the fact that I don't know the track doesn't matter as much because I can trail break into these corners a bit more, whereas in the wet, you just can't. You just, you're just all over the place otherwise. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it in the, in the dry. It's nice. Whoa, crash into the back of Fernandez. It's gonna push us wide at turn one. I'm gonna cut back there and I'm gonna swing it around this way. Oh, we're gonna hit him again there for it, careful. Yeah, we got pace through sector one. Sector one, we are we are quick. Don't know what it is, we but we are fast. Right, then the power mode free. I'm gonna like I said in the last race, I'm gonna try and do this a bit more often. Use uh use our power modes in, in certain areas of the track rather than just for full laps. Oh, we're getting mugged by uh, by Gardner now as well. Fernandez and Pazeki got back through on the uh, 
after the straight, we did them on the straight and then they just they managed to get back through again, which is uh, a shame. Gardeners are over the back of us as well now, so let's try and get these boys back. We've got a pace right here, honestly. The first sector we're sick at. I just the rest of the track I'm not struggling, but I'm just not as quick as this lot. Uh, tires seem to be perfect to be fair. So hopefully they last the race. Feels pretty good underneath us right now. Come on into this last crazy last corner. Oh we're gonna go wide. I would imagine someone's going to be at the inside. No, not quite, not quite. Right, level power mode three. Come on, let's get back on terms with these two up front. We've got more pace than they have in this first sector. Apparently we haven't if we go wide like that though. That was a terrible line through there. Get on the brakes into this corner. Nice line onto the straight. We're on the curb, we're on the grass, we're on the curb. Oh, Run out to that curb. Hmm, alright, might not be getting them on the straight this time. We should be able to get away from hopefully Gardner and Lowe's though, behind. Alright, we're going to be right up behind these two. Let me see if I can get on their tail and just follow them around a little bit. Just need someone, maybe I do need to follow someone. I said just now I didn't, but... Oh, it's real well spinning up right now. I didn't knock it back down to Paramo 2, or did I, on the straight? I forgot. Alright, we'll do it in a minute. Perhaps need a bit of power for each to catch these two up. Fernandez is having a look over his shoulder in the weirdest spot on the circuit. Yeah, they just, I don't know, they disappear through that bit there. Just can't stay with them through there. We're going wide. Right on the curb, that was bloody close to going down there. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That was nice through there. A little bit hot into there, we're going to go a bit wide, hopefully Remy's not right behind us. I mean he is right behind us, but hopefully he's not uh, going to be diving down the inside. That's better right there as well. Keep messing that corner up, that was much nicer through there. We're actually up on our own time by a mile. It looks like they didn't break into this last corner like at all. I was trying to judge where they break and do the same thing, but you just can't see when they break. I guess it's quite a light braking zone, you're not like the forks aren't going to be diving forwards. Right, not bad, not bad. To be fair, I'm like acting like we're doing terrible and we're, uh, this is a terrible race. We're in front of place, man. I, I will take this. We're in front of the main uh, championship rivals, Lowe's and um, Gardner, so that is all that matters, really. It would be nice to put a few more points into them, to be fair. But, Fernandez and Bezeki definitely got some, uh, definitely quick through around this track. We do need to catch up though, because Gardner's right on us, so... Weirdly, the front tyre is going off way quicker than the rear. Which I'm surprised, seeing as they're both mediums. That's better through there, better through there, not so good through there. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I say we're good through sector one, I think we're just good on the straight. <laughs> we've just got a fast bike. Which is fine. Because they definitely put away through there by a long way. Up this hill, this hill bit's quite hard. Just does not feel nice on the front front tire out there. But hey, we're not that much slower than but we are slower. Uh, nearly lost the front into turn 12. Remy's going to be on our tail again. Come on, Dougie, mate. See if we can put in a decent lap. Or decent sec last sector. No, not bad, not bad, not brilliant. Up on our own time again. No, I need just a lot. Yeah, we're not putting any fast laps in the race right now, are we? So we're definitely not... Uh, not top tier pace, but let's come on, let's do a good sector one again. Let's see if we can get on these boys on the straight this time. Got another look over his shoulder into the braking zone. Don't know how you're doing that, mate. That's a skill and a half, that is. Don't know if that slowed you down or if I was just quick through there, but we might be able to get Fernandez if we're lucky. Got a gap into Gardner, which is nice. 
Yeah, we're gonna get Fernandez on the straight. Hopefully we can keep it into the break in. We're not even into the break in, but the corner is after the break in. That's it, that's it, that's it, nice. Oh, back end slipping and sliding out. He's gonna try and dive underneath us down here probably. There he is, right on cue. They're just so much quicker than me right in this bit. I don't know why either, I can't go any quicker. Back end just steps out, there's nothing I can do about it. Even if I apply the throttle gently, it's just I can't get any more traction around that corner than I'm getting. I'll tell you what though, if we can keep Fernandez behind us, this is a solid race result, man. Bozeki, again, we might be able to get him if we can stick this close to him. All right, here we go, last corner. We're gonna be on to the last lap. Can we stick with Bozeki? Don't think we can. We got a bit of a gap to Fernandez, which is nice. We just put the fastest lap of the race in, which is very nice. Come on, sector one, we need a good sector one. And we can uh, try and slip stream Bozeki on the straight. We might be close enough, you know, we might. Whether we can hold them off for the rest of the lap, I don't know. But, oh, a little bit scruffy into that turn there. We have got a little bit of extra fuel to use though, so we'll have a bit of power mode free, please. He's got a good gap, he's got a good gap. It's going to be right at the end of the straight when we get to him. Which is when they're, uh, they're pretty good. So, I'm going to have to break there. I don't break any later. Alright, we didn't get him on the straight, so this is looking unlikely to be honest. But, second place finish at the Kimi Ring. It's not to be frowned at. Definitely not. Put in two absolutely blistering laps on these last uh, last couple of laps. A nice gap to Fernandez now, which is good. Oh, I messed that bit up. He's going to probably pull away from us here. Cut the grass a little bit there. Get the brakes on me up this hill. Front definitely washing out a bit. I don't think we're going to get theirs, but what a race, what a race that was, that was good, I enjoyed that one. I'm enjoying this track, this is going to be a good track to get to know. Oh, I really tired of slipping and sliding everywhere though. Come on, get on the brakes, just keep it neat and tidy, just don't let Fernandez back pass. I think we've got a big enough gap to be honest, but uh, the line's really, uh, comes up quite quick after this last corner, so we're not going to drag him to the line, but that is not a bad result at all. Second place at the Kimi Ring for Dougie Decker. Putting some more points into the championship. Nicely done, boy. That is a result and a half. We needed that. We're doing all right, man. First and second in episode. Happy it's days, happy days. Zeki, us, Fernandez on the podium. Gardner, Lowe's and Robertson in uh, four, fifth and sixth. So they're not far behind us, so we didn't put a lot of points into them. But... Oh, we have jumped ahead of Lowe's. And Bezeki jumped ahead of Lowe's as well. So now we're only 30 points behind Gardner. So we are clawing him back in. We are clawing him back in. Not bad at all. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up. Make, let's me know that you like it. Um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another episode of MotoGP Career Mode. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.